Welcome to Realtor Gary Kelly's podcast on all things real estate. Welcome back to the show. We're here today at La La Java in Northboro with Dominica Tatashori, and we're talking about staging. And Dominica uh, runs a business called Successful Home Staging. So when you go into a house, you've got a bunch of furniture there. A lot of people think staging is clear the house out, and then a truck comes up with all new furniture, okay? Because that's what we see on Saturday morning TV. It's so wrong. Okay, talk to me. It's so wrong. So on TV, what you're seeing are really like, you know, huge production costs whereby they have like one central stager and just you know, magically they're able to pull together a house with all brand new furniture or different pieces instantly. That's not the reality of it. That's when you're paying serious money and you have a big company now, doing Now, what's that. serious money? Thousands upon Thou thousands yeah. upon thousands. Years Mid ago, I staged a condo in the, the South End and it was $9,000 to rent furniture wow. for a month. Wow. Okay, so it, it's crazy stupid money it, in my it mind. It can be, it can be. Um, so what I've done actually for some clients, for example, like some homes are empty and they're sometimes not easy to sell, so they need some furniture. Or similarly, what I've noticed is that some homes have a really unique or difficult room or space that Buyers can't envision what this is for. Sometimes the homeowners have never really been able to optimally use it in a great manner. So I've actually come in and I've actually kind of created a set, basically. What kind of little furniture, what, what kind of identity can we do for this room or nook? And I actually have, you know, provide them with product examples of the type of pieces that would pull that space together. Um, so I actually do contract out with um, a furniture rental company. There's a lot of them out there, and that is one way to get um, uh, furniture affordably. That's great. So what are some of the big things that you do when you look at a house? I know, for example, white towels. You have to have white towels because you want crisp, clean, white. Spa feel. Okay, spa feel. Yep. So what else do you do? Because you set up what you call vignettes. Yes, I do. So there's always two glasses with a wine bottle. What are some of the things that you do, some of the tricks? Well, I really find that you know the, the big rooms you need to focus on principally are really kitchen, master bedroom, uh, living room, and family room. You really need to make sure that this is like special spaces for the potential buyer. So you want to invoke some warmth in there. So cushion placement, um, also throws strategically placed, having some nice coffee table blocks, maybe have a game set up, but the furniture arranged in such a way that it actually complements the room. So for example, couch has not turned its back on a fireplace. That's a major focal point. You don't want to do that, but maybe clustering chairs and a coffee table around a fireplace is the way to go. You're creating an intimate little environment. So these are things that I try to create. Now, I once uh, had an apartment, and I was told by more than one young lady that it was too sterile. And I didn't know what that meant. I thought it was clean and all that. And I was, got a friend of mine, gave her my credit card, and all of a sudden, a mountain of pillows arrived oh and softened the look. What is it with women and pillows? Well, you know, my husband would probably say the same thing. Why do we have to have six on the bed? Well, you know what? It's setting the stage, really. It's just invoking warmth, beauty, comfort, and texture. That's all it is. But if I'm living in the room by myself, why don't I need a stack of pillows on a chair? It invokes some friendliness and, and comfort in there. So, I mean, you can do what you want with your pillows, but <laughs> when the company comes over, put it out. I throw them. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you for coming to the show today. Thank you. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again. Great. Thank you, Gary. Thanks.